Hi, I'm Doug McDonald. In this short video, we're going to take a look at adding tracking categories for accounts, children, and even employees or vendors. Let's go ahead and get started. Tracking categories in ProCare are like post-it notes on accounts, on child records, employee records, or vendor records. So basically anything that you might want to track in ProCare, you can create a tracking category for. They're set up in the configuration and then system area. Under data management, we'll see tracking items and user-defined fields. User-defined fields are covered in a different video. Within this section, we have global tracking items and local tracking items. Global items are assigned to all schools, while local tracking items are limited to the current school you're working in. For example, my school too. If we wanted to create items for a different school, we could just click the change school icon at the bottom. As you view local and global items, the global items always will appear at the top of the item list followed by local items. Let's take a look at some global tracking items that we've already got set up. You'll notice at the top the account, child, employee, and vendor categories. Now at the account level, we could create things like this. Tracking payment source, in this case subsidized payments from agencies or private pay families. Under the child tracking items, we can have things that are related to the child. Here we have allergies already set up. Um, so allergies is the tracking group name. It is a multi-item as opposed to a single item. Uh, multi-item means that we can have more than one item selected for a child. A single item would mean it's a choice among items to select just one. It's active and uh, the tooltip for this is just allergy items, just a little reminder when you mouse over that you can pick items from the list. So here are some examples of some items that we would have in the allergy list. Now let's go ahead and add a new category here. We'll call it behaviors. It is a multi-item because we could have more than one of the behaviors attached to a child. And we'll just call this behavior issues and items. And then we'll click save at the bottom. We can add a behavior to our list, such as hits. The usage limit here would indicate we can we can tell ProCare well you can only use this item hits uh, five times in our system if you had uh, a limit of how many times you wanted to be able to use this item you can set that usage limit right here. So we'll save that and that will give you a good idea. We'll go ahead and exit from here. We'll change to the local tracking items and see what we have here. We have nothing at this school. Let's check a different school. Change to the ABC school and you'll see that there are quite a few local category tracking items already set up. So here's a good example of the types of things you might set up for the accounts. Let's go ahead and see how you would uh, apply the tracking categories to the family data. Once you've got everything set up the way you'd like it, you just then enter your family data and accounting module. For the account categories, you'll see a tracking section over on the right side, uh, or you can use this uh, tracking category button up here at the top to access the tracking categories for the account level. For the child level, you have a tracking category button down at the bottom and we access the child tracking categories that way. Simply check off the items that apply to an individual child for those and then click the save button. Exit. If you need more tracking categories for the family or maybe their status changes here, you want to change those tracking categories, you can come in and make those changes and then click Save and Exit. To view Jenny's tracking categories on the main screen, just grab the scroll bar on the right side of the screen and scroll down until you'll see the uh, tracking categories listed there. And that's all there is to it. Thanks very much for joining us today.